Well, it's pretty sad when you have half of a country wanting to leave over political situations, over what I believe are designed atmospheres that, as you can see, it allows individuals like Soros that never get arrested to enter the picture and to stir the pot by writing checks and busting people in. We see this tactic over and over again, not only in America, but in Europe. He openly backed flooding all these migrants into Europe and it was almost part of this master plan. At the same time, you had Jesuit Pope Francis saying, everybody, open your doors, let them in. And it was like, are you kidding me? Yet, the hypocrisy reigned in when they didn't want to allow a single one of them into the Vatican. Now, all these people flood into these states. It's flipped them upside down. You see this in Germany. You see this in the UK. In other, in other countries, you have pockets, the Netherlands, where migrants cannot assimilate, they cannot adapt or blend in with the culture in a way to where it's peaceful for everyone, where it works for everyone, and it doesn't help when there never was a want to come here and to do that to begin with, when these people, once again, were backed by big money, shipped in, clean clothes, clean shaven, they had cigarettes, brand new shoes, none of them children, none of them women, when they were coming in droves through these countries. And then we've seen all the fake IDs and passports and stuff that were being ditched at borders. And then openly, Soros admitting $500 million he, he put behind supporting these individuals. Then you turn and you look at the situation in Germany and you say, okay, all these people are, are ready to flee. Who sold them out? How many people could keep making excuses? You think that this woman meets with Trump on the world stage and Putin and they all sing Kumbaya and what? We're always on the verge of World War III. I'm telling you what. Their control of the mainstream media globally has everybody against one another. They've divided you even in America. Right down the middle, same old song and dance, especially when it comes to Democrat, Republican. It's the prime thing. It's a, they have you fighting over Coke and Pepsi. It's ridiculous. It's sick. But yet, this is part of the black magic being used on the masses. And it's being used here in America, and you can see where it's escalated to in Germany. Do you want America to be like Germany, where half of America doesn't even want to be here? What do you do when you get to that point? What's going to happen? Well, I'd say it's wise to pay attention. And at some point, people got to come together and collectively and consciously make the right decisions. You have to bring the right people into power that are going to represent you. And you have to protect them. <laughs> you can't expect people that are being paid off by the other side to come and protect you or anything like that. You, the people, have got to make the stand to protect yourselves. And you better do it rather quickly. Because if not, this thing is going to spiral out of control and you're going to start hearing these stories repeating where it's not just Germany, it's others, and it could be your own. I'm going to leave a link. This has been Dabu7.